the flex, ayy Bumpin' Justin Bieber, but a fever ain't left, ayy She know what she need, all her need, all she blessed, ayy And welcome to another MX Bikes video. And today, guys, we're at a brand new compound here in MX Bikes. This is MTF. You probably already know what this is. Um, this is a replica created by B Clay, who's done a, a lot of other stuff on MX Bikes shop. He's done a lot of compounds, a lot of tracks, and um, his work's always been really good. He came from MX Simulator, I think, a little over a year ago now, or it's been close to a year. And he's just he's done a lot of work. He's dropped a lot of stuff, and I think I've covered just about every track he's ever put out. And I've enjoyed it every single time. So I think today is going to be no different. And uh, once again, I've been saying it. Hit the sub button, guys. We're on the road to 100,000 subs. I think we just passed 93,000. So thank you guys so much for all the support. Hope you guys enjoy the video today. And uh, we're just going to be having some fun, ripping around, trying to get a little bit better, and uh, showing you guys this compound. Let's get right into it, boys. All right, boys. We are here. MTF, Millsaps Training Facility, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard of MTF. Maybe you have rode here. Maybe you live here. Um, there's a lot of these houses back here, trailers, motorhomes. There's a lot of kids, a lot of families that come to this place and they live here. I mean, they're going full-time moto. Um, or do some people probably just come here temporarily and, um, you know, maybe for a week or two. Just want to train, get better. Either way, I think it's super cool, and B. Clay has obviously brought it in here in a replica style. Now, I don't think that this whole thing is one-to-one. -one. I think there's been a, a, some sort of modifications that have been made. Um, but for the most part, this layout is what it is, all right? There's two super cross tracks. You got the main motor cross track, which we're on right now. We're going to start with this. And then you got turn tracks, you got figure eights, you got all types of stuff like that. So we're going to hit every single track today, every feature. We're going to have some fun. And uh, we are on the Gas Gas 450. The bike I've obviously been riding the most. And we're just going to ride around this thing today. I got auto sit off, so I'm going to be standing up a lot. I've been trying to get better without auto sit, guys. It's definitely a learning process. But um, we're, you know, we're getting it done. And it's not that I'm bad without auto sit. I've done a couple pro motos this year with it off. And I haven't done bad, to be honest. I think for the most part, though, I just... I don't know, dude. Sometimes I'd be sitting at the wrong time. Sometimes I'd lean over and put my thumb on the sit button. Listen, my stick layout is just kind of messed up. I'm going to be honest. The sit button doesn't really have a place to be. And so I'm probably going to get a controller that has paddles under it and try to just work with that. We're going to figure it out. It's not really a big deal to me, though, to be honest. It's not like I'm so slow. I can't really play the game. But, you know, before next year, before Supercross, before Motocross, you know, I might as well get used to it with it off and, um, you know, just learn that mechanic. But other than that, other than that, we're pretty squared away. We're pretty dialed. And uh, this compound is dialed, guys. I think it looks pretty damn good. It's got more of these earthy tones. Looks fairly realistic in how it's colored. I um, also like this water over here. That part doesn't look realistic, but it looks pretty sick. And um, I love how rough this track is. That's something B Clay's done a really good job at. And uh, he didn't do it so much like in the Hayden Deegan compound or even his first compound that he released when he came to this game, which was uh, Club Max. But some of the other stuff he's done, like the Rattray compound and um, I think, what, Sentinel Island. It wasn't super rough, but he does good with the ruts. And this, I mean, this track is rough as hell. And you're going to learn that when you guys get on it. It is $4, okay? So I will say $4 is a lot of money, right? That's about the most I've ever seen for a compound on this game. And so I'm not going to sit here and say you have to buy it. It's a must buy because um, $4 is a decent amount. You can get two pro motocross tracks for that amount of money. That's probably about, what, one, one third of a season pass. But you do get a lot here. And you do get more than just tracks. You get the, you know, the single track, figure eight stuff. Uh, just stuff you can train on. But obviously, if you're someone that loves MTF, maybe right here in real life, I would definitely say that this is a probably a pretty damn good replica you guys can be the judge of that not me but i think it's pretty damn fun and if you're trying to get better at motocross supercross we haven't touched supercross tracks yet i've done a few laps on motocross i already know this track's good we need to try those supercross ones um but i think compounds like this especially if you're getting into the game you're a newer player you do have a lot of selection nowadays so many tracks up on mxb shop but um 
I do think you should try to go, if you're an, even if you're a newer player, if you're going to buy something from the shop, I think you should go for something that's a little bit more difficult. And this would definitely be one of those things. I'd say, like, stuff that JB's made in the past. Um, his compounds are obviously amazing. Hunter Bros compound or um, the Star Facility, the Goat Farm. They're a little bit easier. I think stuff like this, though, if you're really trying to race pro or race aerial, if that's a goal of yours... B Clay, he definitely releases stuff that's a little bit harder, and I definitely can appreciate that. I know a lot of the more experienced players can as well. So it's just, it all comes down to what you want. Everyone's got something on MX Bike Shop. You got free ride, freestyle, everything you could think of. I mean, you even got freestyle here. Look at these ramps we got over here. Probably gonna hit that at the end of the video. Get, get a little bit schmeasy, but uh, so far I'm just kind of warming up. I do want to run a heater on this, and then we're gonna get on the two Supercross tracks. Apparently there's an amateur one, and then a pro supercross track. So we'll see how those ride. I'm actually really interested to see. And be clear, he's already done it all. He's already done supercross stuff in the past. He's done a bunch of compounds. So I already know he's very proficient at building these tracks. But everything's different. I think motocross is going with a little bit more of a different style, to be honest, with the roughness and the ruts. It just feels a little bit different, but I like it. I like it a lot. You definitely got to stand up more. So I'm happy auto sits off. I'm not sitting anywhere. My thumb does not want to move. We're still kind of schmoving, though. We got, what, a 215.7 on the board? All right, we're going to go for a heater right here. That was the finish line we just passed. Let's see what I can do, boys. I'm going to have to lock in, though. Definitely going to have to lock in. These jumps are pretty massive. I think they're a little bit bigger than they are in real life, but it is MX Bikes at the end of the day. Everything's got to be scaled up a little bit. So right here. Oh, man. Into that, sit into this. Grub. I think I'm going to go inside right here. It's pretty rough, so I need to be fairly cautious and ride it high. Here we go. I'm going to hit this double. Sit over this. Stand up around this inside rut. Get an apex for this inside. Okay, boys, we are moving right now. That jump boots you in the air. No! See, I sat down at the wrong time, bro. The back end came up. That's a complete rider error on my on my part there. But uh, I'm not going to do any more motocross. You guys already saw the track. It's freaking fun. It's rough. Let me just get upside. Oh, I was about to say let's get upside down. That ramp came a little bit faster than I expected. But, dude, I don't know what B-Clay does for his ramps. They got grippers on there. They feel so good. Anyways, we're going to go to the two Supercross tracks, so let's do that right now, boys. All right, boys, amateur Supercross track. You guys know I had to get on that 250. I think that's going to be a little bit more suitable for the scale. Oh, my God. Okay, listen, I forgot. We're on an amateur track here. We're not at Anaheim 1. All right, I'm getting flashbacks. Anyways, okay, so we got some pretty tame whoops. Damn, I haven't done Supercross on a 250 in so long. This is going to feel really weird. We're just going to see if we can get a nice little lap. He's got gates on it as well. So he does have individual timing gates um, for the three main tracks. So you guys can do races online on all of these. They're not just sitting here. So I think that's pretty sick. Sometimes compounds, you kind of just have gates on the motocross track. And then some of the other tracks just kind of sit on the side. You can ride and practice, but you can't put up to do races on. Which, I mean, is fine. I'm not sure how many races are actually be held on these tracks, but... Either way, that's always good when a track creator does stuff like that. They put the little extra work in. But yeah, definitely an amateur track. Everything's very tame, smooth, nothing super peaky. You're probably not going to get too injured if you fall on this track. We do have this big jump right here. Looks like you could double it, but... Nice little introduction to a super cross triple. This, I thought this jump was a booter, but nah, you just scrub it. It's just a little table. We're going to try to go inside right here. Inside route's probably for hitting a jump line, to be honest. I don't really think you could skim from that unless you really rail it hard. I'm not sure where the finish line is on this. It's up here, probably. Right here, maybe? Oh my god, I forgot there was two jumps. Okay, I need to put a good lap in right here. So if you go outside, you basically triple over that. Outside's probably definitely faster there. 
Just have to rail the berm. I'm trying to see if there's any big lines on this. I'm not really seeing too many yet. Everything's pretty spread out. I'll find this finish line, though. Is it this triple? Okay, it is. There's a little 106. All right, let's go for a fast lap right now. Or a fast-ish lap. Since I just got on the track, I can run absolute steamy. You know what setup I got on here. I might have a motocross setup on. I feel like going inside there is not smart because you definitely want to double these. Grab this, sit down, get on the old gas. Back brake into this corner. Oh man, I did not brake too much. Grab the table. Grab this table. I'm still going to go outside here. I don't really know what to do with that. I guess that line wasn't terrible. So that berm isn't built up too much. You can still triple that. It's a triple. Stay low there. This is a triple. Inside's good there. Inside for the finish line too. You're not going to be able to triple it, but... You just double it. Little 104.5. Not too bad, boys. Not too bad. Let's go to the Pro Supercross track now. Let's let's kill it. Let's rip it up. All right, boys. Pro Supercross track. We're now on... <laughs> dude, we're on my trusty steed, man. We're on the banana. I raced this during the Supercross season when I raced the 450 rounds. Listen, I'm looking to ride this bike for 2025. I'm not sure how it's going to be riding and once the, uh, the new OEMs come out, whenever that's going to be. I'm not exactly sure how this bike's going to do, but... Um, I don't know, dude. I just, I love the Suzuki. I wish I could ride it outdoors. I mean, I guess I can, you know? I'm not really doing too good anyway, so I might as well. I th I'm probably going to hop on this thing when we go to, uh, where are we going next? Unadilla, I think, is the next pro motocross round. Unadilla, Bud's Creek, something all, something like like that. But, um, dude, it feels so good to be back on this thing. So we're going to be ripping here, trying to get back in a Supercross form. I did pretty good during the Supercross season. Got multiple top fives. Got a podium in the 250 class. We had a pretty good season. So, you know, listen, dude. Once this motocross season ends, we get into SMX. Obviously, those tracks are going to be definitely a little bit more super crossy. And then, yeah, we have the off season. We get right into super cross in January. So, we only got a few more motocross rounds. And then it's basically just super cross time after that. I mean, listen, I like super cross. I do think it's pretty easy to get burnt out a Supercross. That's my only sort of gripe with it, is you're kind of just doing the same thing over and over. I've said this before in past videos. Um, I think that's why I did so good in Supercross, like initially, start of the season. Um, and then I just kind of didn't do too good towards the end. I was just losing it, bro. I just wasn't playing as much. That's another thing. Everyone plays this game in December, or like the weeks leading up to the Supercross season, and then... You know, you get a few a few weeks in, a few months in, and you start to see the signups go down, and I think people just kind of lose interest a little bit. Um, motocross, I don't really see that as much. I honestly think the hype sort of stays within most of the season. Because, um, listen, dude, motocross, it's just different every single round. Supercross, week in, week out, you're kind of just seeing the same obstacles in a different order. And sometimes you feel like just doing that, you want to just do a front flip and break the old, uh, break the old spinal. But, um, let's try to do a fast lap here. I think this is the, uh, finish line. It is. We got a little 114. That lap was horrendous. We'll run a nice one right here. I'll, I'll let you guys know what the, the Jan standard is here for a lap time. Anyone can beat the Jan standard lap time. I am not the most fast human being. And as you guys can see, we're just not even going to hit the rhythms correctly. Triple this. Oh, Johnny. Run that back one more time. Let me actually get the rhythms correctly this time. I think a lot of these rhythms are triple in, so I need to just I need to just go into these rhythms full speed and get the triples. We're on a 450. We shouldn't be doubling into a rhythm section. So I think going outside is probably smart here as I'm losing the back end. Triple, triple. This is a quad actually right here. And you gotta triple again. Let me know in the comments, is this actually the layout of the, the Pro Supercross track at MTF? Let me know. Maybe it's an older layout. I think in the description he talks a little bit more about the specifics. But I think there's sort of a combination of layouts in this. We're going to try to Poboso bounce that. Oh, that actually worked. I don't know how. My suspension just ate that up. Try to skills it through the whoopies. Okay, didn't work. Oh my goodness, I'm running like a freaking... 
Boy, you can jump around this corner. Oh my god. I don't care, I'm finishing a lap. Whoa, I didn't even mean to wheel you. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I got schmeezy on accident. It's par for the course for me, to be honest. All right, it's gotta be like what? 106. Listen, 107, it's not great. It's not amazing. It's the Jan standard, though. Okay, that's a, that's a lap time. If you can get around this track, you're certified Supercrosser. That is not all, though, guys. We got a couple training stations here. So this is the first one. All right, this is more of the high-speed one. So it's a turn track, but it's a little bit more spread out. You got longer corners that have pretty wide apexes. Nothing is super tight. Oh, my God. This is why I need to get on this right here. I need to learn my lean angles. Now, obviously, Suzuki... I don't ride this, this bike outdoors too much, so I'm not going to be super smooth in the corners on this thing. I'm, I'm used to the gas gas. I need to sit down in these corners. Let me just work on my sitting and standing through these. Let's see if we can get dialed real quick. Oh, no, we're still tucking the front a ton. We still haven't fully tucked, though. See, I got a little nervous there. I didn't sit down. I got nervous. All right, let's go to the next one. This one's a little bit more tight, I think, right? Yeah. This is one you're gonna wanna like stand up through, to be honest. If you're sitting down through this one, you're mega dialed. You might just wanna sit the whole time, prick it. I'm kinda schmoovin', wait a second. Wait a second! Get on the brakes. Oh, that was a little bit deep. You gotta just ride these corners high so you don't drag the bars. That's the key here. Let's see, we're kind of moving. We're not super fast, but gosh dang it, Suzuki. It feels weird. I'm too I'm too used to my gas gas. All right, here you got a figure eight. I just want, I'm going to try to stand up through this. I don't think I'm going the right way. Am I going the right way? Like this would be the opposite way you're supposed to go. I don't really think it matters too much. See, we're kind of dialed. Oh my paboso. What do we got? We got I think we got another one right here. Is this just a copy paste? This one looks even tighter. I'm sitting down here. This one's definitely a little bit deeper. Oh man. One more time. Let me get three laps in a row correctly. That's my challenge. Okay, this is tough. This is hard, man. Okay, I'm leaning forward, standing up. Right? That should... That should work, dude. All right, here we go. Three laps. What in the actual... Okay, I give up. I give up. I suck. I suck at them. I suck at figure eights, dude. What about this one? Is this one more my style? Oh, this one feels schmeezy. Oh, no, never mind. I'm done. Give up, brother. I need to go to MTF more. I suck. 